Is a computer science degree worth it? That's what I'll be answering once and for all in this video. A CS degree requires a huge commitment. You'll spend years of your life studying and often tens of thousands of dollars in tuition fees. But it can definitely pay off as well and lead to some of the highest paying tech jobs with six figure salaries all over the place. Now, on the other hand, many people claim that you don't actually need a computer science degree to get these jobs. That there are other ways that are faster and easier, like self-studying or just taking a programming boot camp. In this video I'll talk about the pros and cons and whether it's actually worth getting a computer science degree now. I'm gonna start by breaking down the CS degree and what you're going to learn and then we'll talk about possible career paths you could take as a computer science major. We'll talk about salaries and job satisfaction because I think it's really important to see if people are happy with their career in all different ways not just with how much money they make. I'm also gonna dig into AI and how automation will impact CS majors because I know a lot of people especially programmers are worried that that they'll lose their jobs and if you're just getting started you don't want to spend years and just lose it all. So what's actually a computer science degree? It's often misunderstood so that's why I quickly want to break it down so you understand exactly what it means. Because we need to really understand the degree to understand the pros and cons. The first part of a computer science degree and these are in no particular order is programming. You'll learn a couple of different programming languages depending on the university and the course itself and some teach Python, Java, C but in general it's just about understanding coding principles like object-oriented programming and also getting a solid foundation. You learn about the syntax and problem solving. Next we have software engineering. This together with programming is what most people think a CS degree is, but it's actually only a part of it. In software engineering you'll design, develop, test and maintain software. This is a really valuable skill for high paying jobs like software developer and software engineer. But now it's getting interesting. The next part is algorithms and data structures. Algorithms are basically step-by-step -step procedures for calculation. And data structures are ways to organize and store data. And these are very important concepts to develop good, efficient software. Part four of a computer science degree is mathematics and statistics. And they're very important to understand the underlying computer concepts. Some of the things you learn about might include discrete math, which is about distinct and separate values. So very different from the traditional math that you've probably done in the past. We also have the classic calculus, linear algebra, probability, and statistics. The statistics course is also very important if you're intending to go towards data science. They can be very helpful and there is a reason why many companies ask for a math or a statistics or a computer science degree when they're hiring somebody. Part four is going to be computer architecture and operating systems. And computer science majors, they don't have to study nearly as much about the actual computers themselves as for example a computer engineering student, but they still need to know the basics. This part of the curriculum focuses on the structure of computers, hardware components, and operating systems. Part six is all about database management and databases. You'll often learn SQL and how databases work because they're a huge part of everything we do with computers. We need to be able to store the data to be able to use it somehow. Part seven is where a lot of people struggle and it's called theoretical computer science. This is a course that's made some people go nuts. It's a complex subject and it focuses on mathematical aspects of computer science. It's basically like a mix between CS and math and it's about the capabilities and limitations of computers. Part eight is going to be about the elective courses and specializations. And you can often decide what courses you want to take. For example, focusing on software development, AI or data science, cybersecurity, machine learning, and so on. Now let's talk about some possible careers for computer science majors. This has been a real challenge figuring out because the data about what careers computer science majors actually go for is chaotic. People go in all sorts of ways. Some start companies like Mark Zuckerberg and others just become the CEO of Microsoft, you know, just casually. But I've tried to gather the most popular careers that are realistic and that everyone can succeed in. The first area is software development and we have the software developer and software engineer as some of the most common roles. We'll talk about salaries and job satisfaction later in this video, don't worry. We also have data science and analytics. With a computer science degree you're very well set up to become a data scientist, data engineer, data analyst or even a BI analyst. Your background in programming and mathematics will be really helpful here. Now you could also move into AI and machine learning and here it's going to depend on how far you're willing to take your studies. If you want to go to the master's or even PhD level, you can definitely become a machine learning engineer or even an AI research scientist. These people work at top universities and companies like Google and develop new technology. And I think that's really cool if you're passionate about it. We do need better tech to improve the world. We also have cybersecurity. And I know that this is a rapidly growing field because with data being so important yet so difficult to secure, as well as everyone being connected at all times, the threat level is incredibly 
incredibly high. You can work in cybersecurity as a cybersecurity analyst, a pen tester, or even start your own cybersecurity firm. There are a lot of opportunities to do a lot of good stuff in this area, and cybersecurity isn't just for people like Mr. Robot. Next, we have cloud computing, and companies like Amazon and Microsoft offer computing resources and data storage for companies online. Jobs like cloud engineer and cloud architect manage this. You don't have to work in some data storage facility. Next, we have networking and information security. And the thing is that CS majors can also work as system administrators. They know how to use computers in and out, and they can also work as IT specialists, for example, with support. While these roles are generally not as glamorous as a software engineer, you can climb the career ladder and make a lot of money here, especially if you specialize in something. There are a ton of different IT jobs out there, and you probably not even heard about half of them. You can also get into web and mobile development and become a front-end or a mobile developer. And finally on the list we have game development. And if you like gaming, you can actually make a living by designing and programming games. Now, it's a very different experience programming and making a game rather than just playing a game, but there is a lot of money in gaming and the industry is just growing rapidly. And with a CS degree, you're in a strong position to get a job in the industry. Now, let's talk about salaries, because I know that that's what you've all been waiting for. After, we'll talk about the job outlook and how AI will impact these jobs as well as the job satisfaction. Now, the average salary will depend a lot on what career path you go for. You could be a software engineer making 300,000 per year, or you can make 50k as a tech support. Both are good options, and you can also grow in each role, but I'm just telling you that it can depend a lot depending on what you do. But let's talk about the average salary. In software development, the average salary is around 110,000 per year, with more senior engineers and more specialized people making more money, of course. In data science, you can start at 70,000 per year as a data analyst, or make 120,000 as a data scientist. In AI and machine learning, you can make a lot more depending on how specialized and senior you are again. In the private sector, you'll also make a lot more money, generally speaking, but one advantage to working for the government is that it's one of the most stable jobs you can have. The government is the last one to cut the expenses and lay people off, because they have our beautiful tax dollars to play around with. In cybersecurity, the salaries are very good as well. We're looking at around 120,000, but if you become an expert at something, you're invaluable to the company and they'll pay you a ton. When it comes to cloud computing, the average salary is around $114,000 per year, but I've also found many articles claiming that specialized roles or more senior positions earn over 160000 which means we're actually on the top software engineer level here, and it's not the only top job for CS majors by any means. In IT, I'm not even going to give you an average salary because I would be lying. There's just no way to compare and summarize all of these jobs. Front-end developers make on average 88000 per year, very similar to game developers, and please keep in mind that these salaries required an unforgivable summarization, and you can make a lot more or less in each area, depending on what job, depending on your country, depending on your city, depending on everything. Now, what about the job outlook for a CS major? As I said, it's hard to give you some exact numbers because you can do so many different things with a computer science degree. I would say that your future is looking very good so far. As a CS major, you don't really just know how to program, you know the fundamentals, the heavy stuff, and in my opinion, that means that AI is less of a threat to you because your skills are wider. But of course, I don't know, I can't predict AI. But a CS degree is certainly not worse than any other degree when it comes to job security in the age of AI at least. In many fields, there are a ton of good jobs. IT is growing in general and companies need these skills. So finding a job, whether it's a high level top role or just a job in general, will be possible. Let's talk about the job satisfaction. How happy are people with a computer science degree? The fact is that computer science is one of the highest dropout rates of any major. But that's likely because people mistake computer science for computer programming. And it's about way more stuff than just computer programming. So it doesn't really mean anything for the job satisfaction. It just means that the wrong people are dropping out of the degree. It doesn't actually mean anything else. I'm going to show you the job satisfaction rating for a couple of different jobs. According to Payscale, and they've collected reviews from professionals all over the place, we can see that software engineers are highly satisfied, 4 out of 5. Now, whether that's mainly because of a high salary, we don't know. I know software engineers that, are, that complain about being overloaded with assignments and tasks and are not feeling like they're making an impression, and money isn't everything, but it's still a very good score. Cybersecurity engineers and analysts scored around 4 as well, and I then looked at an article by CompTIA. They have a lot of certifications for IT professionals. And they found that 72% of IT professionals are satisfied globally, and 74% in North America. Of course, this includes a ton of IT jobs, and 74% might not seem like that much, but if you compare it to most other industries, it's actually pretty good. 82% of IT professionals globally also consider their job security either extremely good or somewhat good. And that can help a lot. I mean, just feeling like you're not about to lose your job all the time is a great feeling. The people that actually want to 
change jobs in IT mostly claim that it's because they want to grow into a better role and only 39% of these people claim that it's because they need a higher salary. So people seem to be pretty happy. Now back to the computer science degree itself. Here are my pros and cons that I've found so far. There are some great opportunities in CS, high salaries, a better job security than most. You can also transition into different roles easy and access many different roles with a computer science degree. You also learn the heavy stuff that bootcamp people don't really learn. On the downside, it can be expensive, take a long time, and it doesn't always teach you the practical skills to land the job you want. For some people, a bootcamp might just be the better option. It really depends on your situation, and it's still a very big investment. It takes a couple of years and quite a bit of money as well. You can also do both, get a CS degree and specialize in whatever practical skill you want, like programming on the side. Again, it all depends on your situation. There's unfortunately not one single solution. But I think for the right person, a computer science degree is definitely worth it. I'll leave a link to some resources in the description and subscribe if you enjoyed this video.